Are you seeing those white things floating around? That's snow. <laughs> Let's go set up the Christmas tree. Say hello. Can you say hello? <laughs> it's a cute smile. Welcome back everyone. It is a 5.05. I don't know if you can see the clock over there. 5.06 now. We just got home from getting some gas and picking up these two cute little girls from daycare. Yep. Yep. Was it pajama day today? Yeah, and we had popcorn and berries and we had a pumpkin treat with no wrapper. A pumpkin treat with yeah. no wrapper? No. What movie did you watch today? Toy Story 4. What? I haven't even seen that one yet. Hmm. Well, how's your supper? What are you yeah. having? So I'm having green beans and some juice with ketchup and mini hot dogs. Mini hot dogs. Yum, yum, yum. And Miss Everly is going to try some bananas. Papa gave these to her last night and he said she really liked them. Should we try some? Let's see. Let's see. Take these toys off so they don't get all dirty. Okay. Let's see if you like it. Not hungry? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ooh. <gasps> Yummy. <laughs> yeah. And he liked the flavor. Like the more. Sorry about the background noise. I've got the dishwasher running. I don't think she's too interested in eating right now, so we'll just let her play a little bit.
as you can see, I just put a load of laundry in or switched it from the wash to the dryer. Um, so I just wanted to touch base on something. I'm going to go a little bit away from the laundry because it's kind of uh, loud. Um, so I wanted to touch base on my last video that I uploaded. Uh, it was all edited perfectly. Um, I used the Adobe Premiere Rush or Adobe Rush Premiere. I can't remember exactly what the name of it was, but I had to do it on my phone because my laptop that I was using to edit the previous video, actually the hard drive crashed. So I was using the Adobe um, software on my phone and it, the video was, I mean, was great according to some YouTube standards, but it was done. And um, I did all the rendering and I went to upload it and I went to finally watch it today and it cut off while I was cleaning the kitchen. So what I'm gonna do is insert um, the footage here of the, um, the cleaning solution that I was using um, and then I'll be back. So here's the cleaner that I use. It's the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. You can use it on a majority of surfaces in your home, and I just buy mine from Target. And it's actually cheaper to buy this large refill than it is to buy a new squirt bottle every time. All right, so that was the cleaning product that I use on majority of the surfaces in my house except for when we've got any illnesses going around, then I'll make sure to use something a little bit stronger. Um, I know it's maybe not as best for the environment, but I do love to use Clorox wipes. Uh, they're just simple and I feel like they get the job done and typically make a room smell pretty good. So. Is Everly staring at you? She was. What? It's scary. What's going on on it? Was it a tiger? Yeah. EJ, good little bit sissy. Alexa, show me the nursery. Okay. She's not happy. I'm gonna make another two ounces and see if she'll go down for a little nap. Seriously, you guys, this cat will not stop following me around the bed. You'll see me take him down multiple times, and in the moment, it's not very funny, but now that I'm watching it back, it's hilarious. everyone happy Saturday I just made my coffee and the girls and I have been up since about seven o'clock Everly slept good last night she's just rolling around on the floor aren't you yeah are you getting hungry are you getting hungry <laughs> and Kennedy's watching some TV one of Kennedy's favorite things to watch right now are YouTube videos um, where they're playing with toys or opening toys or playing with Play-Doh. I don't want to watch me. You don't want to watch that one? No. All right, Mama will change it. It's boring. It's boring. Yeah. What are you having for breakfast? Can you tell them? Um, corn cereal. Cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, you're having it dry though, right? That's mama's favorite cereal. <laughs> All right, so it is 
And Everly has drink in a bottle. Not the whole thing, though. You weren't very hungry, were you? Just needed a snack. And I think Mama's going to go try to work on her makeup before Grandma comes over. Yeah, and I'm going to keep my pajamas on forever. Okay, sounds good. Beverly, you want to keep your pajamas on? Yes, Mama. You want to keep your pajamas on? Are you yeah. getting antsy? Forever. Yeah, yeah you want to hold the camera? <laughs> She looks so embarrassed. She looks so Look at those baby feet. So cute. Yeah. So. It's so cute. Bye. Yeah. You tell them. You tell them. <gasps> we should show them the snow. <gasps> Let's go show you the snow. And I really want to go outside so I can be a snowman. I don't think there's enough snow yet, honey. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at it. My plants blew over. The chairs have snow on them. Maybe we shouldn't go get snow. You want to go touch it? Run! Go be brave. Run, run, run. All right, so I just got done writing the majority of our list out. Um, the thing I really like about this is it has a section on the top for you to write down what your breakfast, lunch, and dinner plans are for the week. And um, that's really nice. I'm not good at meal planning right now. Um, and I'm going to say I'm not good at it yet because I do intend to get better at it. Um, so this is a really nice visual to have this kind of all laid out for the week. And the reason the breakfast section is is pretty bare is because Kennedy and Everly both eat once they get to their daycare and um, I'm usually eating breakfast in the car once I get to work so I do have quest bars quite often um, and on Friday I have the day off so that morning we're gonna have bacon eggs and some fruit and then Saturday next week is Kennedy's birthday party. So we're going to make something fun for her. We'll have some chocolate chip pancakes. Um, so most of the lunches are just leftovers from the night before supper. So, for instance, Monday night I've got steak stir fry written down. And then for Tuesday for lunch, it'll be steak stir fry leftovers. I've also got spaghetti squash with green beans, hot dogs, because Kennedy doesn't, she likes wings, but we like to make them spicy, so she'll probably have hot dogs, we'll have wings, and then we can have salads with it. Thursday night will be taco night, Friday night we'll have shrimp and veggies, and then Saturday night it'll be Kennedy's party. And then I left Sunday blank because I intend to plan again that day, so I'm not quite sure. It'll probably just kind of be a free-for-all day. All right, so I did want to take a second and show you um, a couple of the Quest bars that I was talking about that I like to have on hand in case I don't have time to make a breakfast. So this is the nutrition information. Um, uh, so it's not going to focus for us. Awesome. Well, there's 22 carbohydrates. And um, 15 grams of fiber and 2 grams of erythritol. So when you're on keto or doing low carb, I track by net carbs. Gosh, I wish this would focus. There's 5 grams of net carbs in here because you take the total carbs, which was 22 grams, subtract the fiber and subtract the erythritol. Erythritol is a type of sugar substitute that doesn't have any effect on your glucose levels. So that equals 5 grams of net carbs, and this one is white chocolate raspberry. I just love it. It's tasty, and they're all very filling. So um, I have that one, and then I already ate this one, but this one was um, mocha chocolate chip. That was a really good one for breakfast, and this one has 4 grams of net carbs. 
and also 14 grams of fiber. So, um, gosh, another one that I like is the mint chocolate one. I also tried a vanilla crunch one the other day. They're just, they're good. Quest bars are um, keto friendly or low carb friendly, if you will, and uh, I really like them. Come on, you were just screaming. Uh, you playing with Sissy's unicorn tail? Hello, so you just a uh, um, little bit of Everly here after my mom and sister left. Yeah, we are just chilling in the living room. She laid down. She was so tired. She laid down for 10 minutes and I laid down hoping I could get a nap today too, but she said no way. So now we're chilling in the living room. I am uh, watching some YouTube myself and... We've got about four hours until Zach gets home from work. He does work on the weekends right now, part-time. He gets off at 3.30, and right now it's about 1 o'clock. I guess my math is off. One, two, three, two and a half hours <laughs> till he gets home. And we don't really have any plans for the rest of the night, so. I think I'm going to try to get this video up tomorrow, though. On Sunday. Um, just because I don't, I think it's already kind of long, but yeah, we're, we'll take you along with us if we do anything else fun tonight. All right. So while Everly and I are sitting here in the living room, um, I'm going through this bin of Kennedy's old clothes because Everly here is starting to, um, grow out of all of her, uh, six month stuff. Um, so we're going through some of Kennedy's old clothes, and I just wanted to show you some of the things that I found. Um, so we have this Eddie Bauer car seat. Um, it's like a winter cover deal. So you just put it over the car seat, and their little head <laughs> comes right through there. Um, like that's where they breathe, I guess. But it's really cute, and now that it's snowing out, uh, I'm definitely going to be adding this car seat cover. I think we just picked it up at Target. And then I also found, I found some socks in there, which is good because we were running low on socks for her. Um, but I just wanted to share this outfit. So it's this really cute, um, kind of vintage looking onesie. And this is just from Old Navy and it is a six to 12 month. And then I found these leg warmers that we got for Kennedy when she was little. Those are just from Target also. And then this little pair of socks. So I think once she gets enough spit up on this outfit that she's wearing right now, which is also from Old Navy, um, I think I'm going to change her into that just because it's too cute. And then we'll have to put a headband on her too. What do you think? Can you be my dolly today? Can you be my dolly today? You, oh, you're showing us your tummies. You're showing us your tummies. Oh, so soft. You're so soft. Yeah, tiku tiku. Tiku tiku. <laughs> tiku tiku. Yeah. All right, so. I had to lay Everly down again, and she's just, she's boycotting naps, aren't you? Yeah, she's boycotting naps. So we are going to attempt to put on this Eddie Bauer car seat snow cover that I told you about. So let's see if we can 
figure it out. I don't think it's supposed to be that hard, but the car seat that we have is the um, Chico Key Fit 30 Zip. So it does come with um, a cover like this. I think I'm going to probably have to take this zipper cover off. There we go. All right, I got it. So there is a lever here that moves back and forth. And if you push this little button, it snaps out. All right, so we got the zipper part off. Now, let's try putting this on. And it's really nice because it's just simple here. You should be able to just fit it over it. So then once it's open, you can see their little head peeking through there, and just unzip it to put them in, and that will be nice and warm for her now that it's snowing out, huh? I like it. All right, so it's a good thing I got that uh, Eddie Bauer um, cover put on the car seat because we ended up going to Walmart and the Dollar Tree and this is our Walmart haul So I'm just gonna go over it quickly try to get through it quickly here um, I'll start on this side. So I decided to try some of these uh, real good brand uh, snacks This one is the pepperoni and cheese and then I also got the artichoke and cheese got two um, shrimps here Here's all of our meat, so I got some ham, some beef sticks, some jalapeno cheddar, Johnsonville brats, some ballpark beef hot dogs, and some little Smokies for Kennedy's birthday party. And then I got two things of the hickory smoked bacon. We got some top sirloin steak for um, some steak kind of stir fry that we're going to make, and then also some pork chops. And we got a three pound um, hamburger chub thing here. And we got some taco seasoning. We'll go back here. We got some crispy rounds, some mozzarella cheese, and also two bricks of regular cheese, so pepper jack and marble jack. Another thing of almond milk for Kennedy, and sour cream for tacos, and a bunch of eggs. I intend to do some baking. And I want to hard boil some also. I got a thing of avocados, a red and a green pepper, a red onion, spaghetti squash, and got some blueberries and strawberries. I love this kind of water. It's the black cherry. It tastes just like soda to me. Also got some dairy-free chocolate chips. These will be for those um, chocolate chip pancakes that I said we're going to make on Kennedy's birthday. And then tomorrow, I assume we'll be kind of bored tomorrow morning before the family event I said we were going to go to, so we'll make some chocolate chip cookies. Um, Zach picked up some apple cinnamon oatmeal for him, and then some maraschino cherries for, I think he's going to add it to a cocktail or something. Uh, we got some shells for taco night, salsa for taco night, and also I enjoy putting salsa on eggs too. Um, this is my favorite keto friendly barbecue sauce it's seriously so so amazing and um you can see there's two grams of carbs in it it's so so good zach tried it too and he even liked it and then i was having a little bit of a hard time finding some tomato sauce that i could use for our spaghetti squash uh spaghetti but this one has uh, six grams minus a gram of fiber so it's five grams for a half a cup uh, we'll see if I use a whole half a cup. And then we got a bunch of vegetables here. So cauliflower, uh, two things of broccoli, 
We got the stir fry medley that's gonna go with our steak and peppers. Got some Brussels sprouts. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see I went out the other night and had a Brussels sprout appetizer that was super good. So I intend to try to make that again. Um, my Instagram tag is, I'll, I'll post it here in the video for you. And then another stir fry medley. We got some butter for Zach. Got two things of macaroni and cheese for Kennedy. I'm going to try out this bubbly uh, water for the first time. I hope I like it. Some syrup for those pancakes I mentioned. And then we just needed some random things. We needed some Drano and some laundry sanitizer. Zach needs some super glue. I needed some earrings. <laughs> and then uh, for Kennedy's birthday party, we wanted to have some rainbow Skittles. So that is our Walmart haul. <laughs> All right, everyone. It is now Sunday night. Um, it's 8.36. I am laying in bed <laughs> with these two. Um, yesterday, after that grocery haul, um, we just put it all away and kind of chilled out for the evening. And I think I was in bed by 9 o'clock. And then Everly got up five times last night. So I'm really tired. Um, I got a busy week ahead again. Um, today we went to, um, it was a birthday party in the family. So we went there and spent the afternoon and then tonight got a lot of laundry put away. I actually went through Kennedy's clothes and, and also Everly's clothes and, um, took out everything that doesn't fit them anymore. So that's always nice. It feels good to get that done. But I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. It turned out to be a pretty long one, so I will get that uh, I'll upload it, and hopefully it'll be uploaded by tomorrow. Um, hopefully tomorrow morning would be great. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you'd like to see more weekend vlogs from us. Thank you for following along, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.